Hello, welcome back, you guys. Ender Dragon here, bringing you the Minecraft 1.9 snapshot update news. So yeah, you guys. As I was saying, uh, 1.9 snapshots came out. Um, it was released earlier today. I tried staying up. I was at like 1:30. Oh wow, that's way too close. Back it up. Back it up. What the heck? Oh, okay. Um, maybe it's the. I think it's the foliage. Um, yeah, so like 1.30, which is like 10.30 in uh, Sweden. I don't know why I said that, but it is. It was a cool tip. It's nine hours ahead from California. Um, uh, Southern California. Um, most random thing ever. But you can't see my eyes. Look, they're covered by my little nostril things. Like, uh, it looks like my eyes are cut in half. Now. So... Let's get right on into stuff from 1.9. So, we're first going to start up with the food items. So, if you guys have ever played the Pocket Edition, you would know that it does have a f or actually two food items that our Computer Edition does not. These would be... <laughs> His mouth moves when you move. Oh my god, that's so great. These would be... Beet... Okay, I'm not going to do that. Um, I, I'm in hole. Um, these would be beetroot um, and beetroot soup. Uh, these were, yeah, it, in snapshot, these were added. Um, they're also plantable, so I'm just going to give you guys a look of what the planted seeds look like. Let me grab some bone meal, age them through. Uh, I believe they probably are going to turn out looking like potatoes, carrots... Oh wow! So they so they do have a custom model or texture, I should say. That's nice. Man, I'm sick. Uh, time set day. Yeah, there, better. Um, so I didn't think they would have a custom model just yet or texture, whatever the hell you want to call it. But uh, they do. So let me just fill this thing in and just like float. So that's what that looks like. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that's the beetroot. Uh, let's see actually how much hunger it fills. Mode zero. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna eat it. Let's see. Oh, okay. So I didn't even need to lose any more. It only does half. Um, I have no idea how much the beetroot soup does. Um. I'll be right back once I have enough, like, hunger gone to show you guys. So, now let's see how much that does. Nom. Okay. So, not bad. Um, then also, I don't think this is edible. No, it's not. But, the coarse fruit is. And, um... I haven't eaten a piece yet, but from what I've heard is it has a special effect that it does when you eat it. So, nom 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 nom. Nothing? Okay. Well, uh, let, let, me, let me get another one. Or, I, I, I need to figure out what this popcorn does. Or er, dual wielding. So, I have actually no idea what the, uh, course root does i've been told they have a special effect i don't know if they maybe they don't have it in this version yet oh okay okay that's a thing so do these function like ender pearls when you eat them would that mean like the popped course root would be like an endermite and like hmm i wonder uh, yeah, let's move on from the food category on to the arrow category. So, yeah, let's move on from the foods on to the arrows. So, for those of you who didn't know, in the snapshot, why don't I have a pig egg? Um, they weren't able to or didn't want to because of bugs add the shield in just yet. So, there's no shield. Um... However, there is dual wielding, as I showed earlier. I'm going to... Here. 
stole the stick. Which you can use for some pretty cool things. That I'll show in a bit. But for now, and they're gone. I guess they probably despawned. Nope. 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 I hate baby zombies. They're so annoying. Nope. Okay. Now it's gonna bug me. So, uh, this is my um my little arrow. No! Dang it! Ah, uh, whatever. I don't really need it. Oh God, I'm sick. Okay, so over here I have is that a villager zombie. I have a bow, which I'm actually gonna do this in game mode zero. Um, I have a wall to hide behind, and I have all the arrows that they added this this past update, this snapshot actually. So there's this one, which I don't know why you would ever want to bring upon yourself unless you want to do like that. Because now I'm invisible, but I have an arrow sticking out of my head. But we'll just shoot this guy. Just for kicks and giggles. Um, I don't think they've added a... Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> what does that look like? That is so stupid. Um, I don't think they've added a potion for... Or a uh, milk bucket potion yet, pretty much. Um, we're going to do this one last, because it's the coolest. Um... Harming, I get how that one would work. Look, I'm just going to do it on myself as well. So, like, a base arrow, I don't remember how much it does normally, but uh, that was definitely more. So, just chuck it at that guy again. He's probably doing the first one to die. Uh, potion of Poison. This one I might save till later because it'll get him down to a half heart, and then if I shoot him again. Yeah, so I'm just going to have that one in my inventory up here. So, regen, re regen, regen, um, I don't want to shoot him with it, but I will, uh, boop, is that a miss? What the heck? Oh, no, he, he got it that time, okay. This one can go up here. Strength, again, don't know why you would ever want to do it to anything but yourself. Which is kind of stupid, because you lose that heart from getting hit by the arrow. Oh, this guy's dead. <laughs> that was fast. Uh, we'll just shoot this guy, I guess. So now he has strength, which is not good for me, but... I mean, if you want to mess with somebody, shoot a zombie with a strength potion and a regen potion arrow and just watch the madness happen weakness i get why you would want this one you just gave your zombie strength this now give it weakness um meh sick uh this is i'm just gonna hold it like that to make sure that i'm using that arrow oh that killed him <laughs> that was supposed to heal you buddy uh let's shoot this guy with it um, let's see what that does actually. Like, does it do a half heart and then, yeah, okay. So, this one's pretty much, like, infinite. So, really quickly, I'm just gonna show. The, uh, shield is up here, but that's just the dual wielding slot. Uh, poison. And notice they don't say arrows yet, they just say Minecraft tipped arrow, but they say potion. I think my favorite is this dark blue one. It's really cool. I gotta show you guys that. Uh, slowness. Not too big. Uh, dang it, I was wrong. It's the light blue one. It's a water bottle. I have no idea what this is. It's just an arrow. Yeah, it's just an arrow. <laughs> I guess they literally probably just copied the code for the potions, including the water bottle. So, is this poison? Yeah, it's poison. Uh, leaping, again. Don't know why you would want it for anything but yourself. I just shot myself with poison. God damn it. Ow. But now I have leaping, so.
I'm gonna die. Oh wait, no, you can't die from it. That's that's good, I guess. Um, I'm I'm not even gonna give him leaping just because no. Um, fire resistance. Don't know why you wouldn't want that for yourself. Maybe you're shooting at your friends, I guess. Swiftness. This one I'm not gonna actually. Uh, I'm gonna wait really quick. I'll I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, swiftness. Don't know why you wouldn't want it for yourself, but I mean, if you're like at the top of a tower and your friends are getting attacked, you could I guess shoot them with these, which would be kind of stupid, unless you're like communicating with them. Oh, okay, night vision. Don't know what effect that would uh, it would kill him. That's what it would do. Um, I'm just gonna game mode one and uh, refill these guys to show off the last arrow. Um, that was a G mod sound in the background. And I just got rid of my bow. Yay. Um, so now I'm gonna game mode zero again. And I'm gonna grab all of the spectral arrows. And I'm gonna shoot. I forgot to do the middle kind. <laughs> well, I guess I'll put a skelly in there. Just for kicks and giggles. Whoa, look how he's holding his bow. That's different. Okay. Oh, okay, wow. Wow, like that, that he he's a good marksman. Um but yes. Dun -dun -dun. For those of you who didn't see the Minecon video, this is what the special air does. It doesn't last too long. I wonder if you can do it on yourself and just Well it has no freaking Oh yeah. <laughs> How long does that last? Glowing is the name of the effect. That's cool. So not very long, but uh, I guess it's just a cool thing to have if you're like caving and you're like running away from mobs and you want to know exactly where they are until like you're out or something. And I guess you could just keep hitting them with the arrows, which I think that looks pretty cool. It's like you have a halo around you. I'm going to kill this guy. So their body, I guess, is that, okay, yeah, so their body keeps the glowing effect. And I wonder why there's no, um, like, there's no model for it, I guess. Okay, on to the end stuff. So as you guys, as you guys can see, I'm decked out. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to fight him or if I'm going to fly around the end and show you guys what everything looks like. Um, I might do both, like, I might fight them after I show you guys. I was kind of disappointed because I went like this, and I decided to dual wield and see if I could, like, have my banner, like, popping up here, like, I'm holding it like a banner carrier or flag carrier. Maybe they'll add that. That would be cool. But for now, I'm just going to hop into the end, I guess. So, see you guys in the end. Okay, so we're in the end now. I'm going to fly around and show you guys some stuff. Um, as you can see, some of them, well, the two tallest, or three tallest, four tallest, have cages on them to keep you from breaking the crystal. So you actually have to climb up to break the crystal. I'm going to break all the crystals, though. Like, these you can't just shoot an arrow at and get lucky. Now, these you have to actually ladder up and hit. Which is kind of unfortunate for any survival players, but I mean, they did say they were gonna make the boss harder. So, I'm just gonna go through and hit all the crystals. Um, this is weird to me because normally it doesn't spawn the portal until after, but given there are no portal, portal pieces, it's just like the frame of it. Yeah, nothing. Oh wait, why did I start using those? I don't want to use those. I want to see if I can hit him with that actually. Oh, so close. Blue. Blue. Dang it. Eh. Did that do damage to him? Oh, does he not get the glow effect? That sucks. 
That would be so cool if you could get the glow effect. Uh, I guess we'll just beat the crap out of him now. And I'm gonna just place this banner for the land of Ken Rocks. This, this land has been claimed by me. Now, find sit in the tackle. Oh, that, what? Man, I forgot how- it's been so long since I last did, like, the boss fight. And even longer since I did it in survival, so... I'm so used to just flying around and whacking him with a sword. Which, I guess they made it harder to do now because he seems way faster. Eh. 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 Oh my goodness, I'm- I need slowness. Oh, here's slowness. Dual wield. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Is that what they did? Is made him to where he like hovers above that? Why does he hover above that? That makes no sense. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kill him and be right back. <clears throat> I think in one more swoop he should be dead. So, um, I'm just gonna, yeah, there's my banner. Uh, I enchanted my sword and it's now the Sword of Ken Rocks. I have uh, sharpness, looting, and fire aspect. Oh, did you notice that? It says one in main hand. It does 13.25 attack damage. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, I have killed the dragon. Let's see. What will you do? Drop lots and lots of XP. Thank you very much. Did the portal just get raised? For some reason. What the heck was that? Oh, what was that? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's what that that's what that's what they added. <laughs> I'm like stuttering so bad. Um freaking where are Ender Pearls? They're not in brewing. What the heck, why can I not find Ender Pearls? Food stuffs. Um I'm like panicking. Where the heck are Ender Pearls my So, um, <clears throat> I cannot find ender pearls. Am I just blind? I th yeah, I'm blind. They're right there. I'm gonna just get myself a few stacks. So, I think this is the thing I, I saw. Um, apparently, yeah, there's no way to get in other than doing that. Oh my. Where the heck am I? Okay, good, 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 good. That, that fixed that. So yeah, look. This is like a beacon. <coughs> Let me clear my throat, sorry. Um, it's like a beacon. You can ender pearl the, the different places. I'm assuming these are the chorus things. Let's see, game mode zero. What happens if I break it? Yeah, so those were the chorus things. I'm gonna eat this and hope I don't teleport too far. Yeah, okay, where's the... Oh no. Did I switch islands? Oh no, game mode one. Um, I think I may have switched islands and I have no idea how to get back. Oh no. <laughs> oh crap. So, yeah, apparently there's end dungeons now, um, and a bunch of little different mini, like, not nearly as big as the main one, where you fight the dragon, but there are a, du a bunch of, like, little mini different islands, like, these are tiny, but this is more the size of the ones, so that's just, like, the, the lone chorus plant. Come on, where's my teleporter thing? Oh god, how big is the range on that freaking chorus fruit? Where is that main island I was at? Oh, frick. I have no idea how to get back. Great. Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. 
<coughs> oh, my throat. Oh, what is that? It looks like a chorus plant that got, like, not generated in, but that's weird. I'll be right back once I find how to get out of this place. Okay, found it. <laughs> um, I guess we'll chuck another one in there, see if it takes me back to the mainland or what. Maybe if I emit that away now. Let's see, where'd I go? Uh, I'm back on the main one. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's check another Ender Pearl in there. And let's face this way this time. Is there only two islands? Like, seriously? Like, bruh, there's supposed to be an Ender Dungeon thing. And I have no idea. Maybe if I face this way and chuck it in. Is there only two? Like, really? Huh. I wonder, because, like, seriously, there is supposed to be an end dungeon, and the thing is back there, so. Let's keep going this way. Um, like, they added all the blocks. Maybe they just haven't added it in yet. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is, like, one of my favorite blocks right now. It's the end stone bricks. It looks so nice. And they have purple. Purple pillar, purple slab, and purple stairs. Um, <laughs> that name, purple. Purple, purple, purple. It's like the Ermagersh, but purple. It's like, what's your favorite color, Ermagersh girl? Purple. <laughs> um, but there is a thing to look out for, and I guess I'll spawn it right now. Show you guys, since I can't find any of the dungeons. Um. So, here's a purple block, here's uh, a shulker, and purple pillar, purple slab, purple stairs, and endo bricks. So, these all look really nice, um, but these all break with one punch, except for this guy. This guy's got a health bar, because it's the shulker. So, if I game mode, mode uh, zero, you see every now and then who pops out of his little shell. Oh, and then these happen. I don't know if you can fight these or what. I don't know. I got hit. I am gonna die. Eh. Eh. Maybe I'll try and land on a course plant. Ow. Yeah. So, that's the shulker. He, he pretty much disguises, like, really well. And I got hit by the stupid levitation ball thing again. Really? Let me all saw. Oh, yay. I made it. Okay, I'm gonna game mode. Game door. <coughs> mode one. You can see I, I took down one plant and I got uh, six. I think that concludes the end portion of our 1.9 snapshot review. Uh, what else is there to show? Okay, dual wielding. There's some cool stuff you can do with dual wielding that I found out. Um, fail. Uh, back to the mainland? Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, I said there's a few, a few cool things I found out that you could do with dual wielding. A few were shown, um, or one was shown, and one, it's the, one of them that I'm going to show you. Um, I don't want to watch the credits. I hate the credits. They're so stupid. Escape. That was trippy. Flash toggle down fall. Yeah. Okay, so it brought me back to Beat Island. Or Beetroot Island, I should say. Um, I believe End Island was over out that way. I did different islands because, I mean, I spawn on an island. What else do you want me to do? Um, well, actually, this is probably the mainland. It's probably, like, end mainland. Yeah, it's this way. So what the heck? It, where is it? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Okay, good. Um, what's my end portal? I, I wonder if that went all the way through and just, like, hit an enderman. Oh, wait, enderman can't be, be hit. Sort of can rocks. Um... So, the cool thing I found out that you could do, I'm just going to chuck Sword of Ken Rocks on the ground and delete everything. 
and pick him back up. And why is there? Oh, oh, I remember when I was trying to make my portal. It uh, it uh, missed a few times, and I right clicked on the ground, and it caused. Why am I carrying that chest weird? That's so weird. Okay. So, what I found out you could do, like, that actually works, is you can do this. Watch. If I hold these and I press F, you can mine. That's, that's like a given. I'm in creative, though, so I'm just gonna, just gonna get down past all this nastiness. I hate that stupid stuff. What is it? Andesite? Diorite? Uh... So now if I game mode zero, I can mine, yada yada yada, but I would have to, like as they were talking about the dual wielding, and said I would probably have to switch out to place torch down, right? Well, this was shown at Minecon in a clip. You can actually place torches as you mine, which I think is really cool because you don't have to like, as long as you don't derp like I do and smack it right as you place it um but yeah you can just keep placing uh what the heck was that that looked like a 3d or like an x-ray glitch what the crap oh my god I hate this stuff um but yeah you can't see I just derped again but you can place torches as you mine so you can like efficiently just keep just keep, just keep swimming. You can just keep mining without having to worry about when you're gonna switch. Hey, I found iron. To tor, god dang it, to torches to torch up your place, so mobs don't spawn. Um, which is like it's really convenient because it's just like I like personally used to do the stupidest thing ever. I would like let me combine that. I would um, I would mine and then. I would go back and place all the torches even like I would just mine in a straight line in the pitch dark and just like hope I find something but see that's one thing to look out for is placing blocks while doing it sometimes it uh, places the torch down like if you're looking down or at the side of a, the wall but like see like that if you're standing in the block it'll place down a torch um so let me just get rid of everything um i actually don't know what else to show you guys i bet there's tons and tons of new features that i personally haven't found i.e like wait course plant oh that's the course okay end rod that's so the course plant and course flower we saw in the end, um, but this is an end rod. Apparently, it can only go too high without uh, doing that. Eh. What is the purpose of this? I don't know. Oh, and you can do stuff like that, but oh, okay. So these are not like signs. That's cool. Did it? Does it say Minecraft end rod or? Okay, yeah. I thought it just said Minecraft rod. <laughs> I'm like, wouldn't that be a stick? Um, so, yeah, there's the purple blocks, the endstone blocks. There's the new mob, the shulker. Uh, the ender dragon, since I wasn't in survival, didn't really do any of his new, like, uh, end breath or anything. But I don't, and I also don't know how to bring him back. Um, oh, crap. So, hopefully, once I figure out how to do everything, I won't be making a part two of this video. But for now, uh, this is it. I'm just going to hop back down through here. And I don't want your credits. And we're back to Beetroot Island. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, talking about all the new features in the in this in this one point I snapshot because there are gonna be a lot more because this is just the beginning like seriously this is like not even a fraction they haven't added any of the new combat mechanics or the shields yet so like there's gonna be way more so yeah if you guys liked 
please remember to leave a like on the video. It I always do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Um, favorites are always appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.